You're watching Reconciling Raleigh with Pastor Olden Thornton. And what is your website too? Uh, how can people sign up on that? Well, we have created a whole new organization called NC for Marriage. So if you want to access this on the web, you can go to www.nc, the, the number four marriage, and that would access the marriage website. Okay, and then the pastors who want to get involved, give them a number that they can call. They can call our office, which is area code 919-807-0800, and we would love to talk to them. We also have an email address for, the, for marriage, and it's uh, marriage at ncfamily.org. Okay, and I don't know who's watching out there right now, but please just know, we and that organization we don't hate homosexuals, okay? We're just trying to do the Bible. The Bible talks against gay and lesbian marriages, you know, and the scriptures are very plain. You can't misunder misinterpret that, you know, so we know love covers a multitude of sin. So we just want you to understand that we are with you. We understand that some of these things happen because of your past, because of rejection, you didn't feel loved, you know, or whatever the case may be. It could have happened when you were 10, 12 years old. Somehow or another, it entered in, you know. I personally don't believe is genetic. I don't believe God created you like that. I know you're going to hate me for even saying that, you know, but please just know that, you know, God created you in his image, you know, so please don't, you would offend me to say that God is like that. No, he's not. Matter of fact, Jesus is coming back for a bride. He's coming back for a woman, you know, and, and we just need to know that that's what the Bible says, you know. So we think highly of you, but we just want you to understand we're praying for you. We love you. We just want you to get on the same page. We want everybody to be on the same page. We know that's sometimes impossible, but I, I do thank God for North Carolina family policy, for people like Tammy, who's on the front line. And, and Tammy, I mean, are there any closing statements, closing words that you could say uh, to even the churches out there, to the viewers watching, uh, you know? Well, Pastor Thornton, I thank you for bringing up the issue of love. And, and um, I, I would like to convey that this marriage amendment campaign is a campaign of love. Good, because good. if we truly love our brothers and sisters, we will be seeking their highest and greatest good and mm -hmm. what is best for them. And we know that when God's word says that homosexuality is an abomination, mm -hmm. that means that it's not the greatest and highest good of our brothers and sisters. And so we're, we're seeking their best interest. And at the same time, we're doing that as we love them as individuals and as people so that's so good the devil has come down to the earth with great anger great wrath and he deceives I mean deception has hit this earth like never before and I believe a lot of people are blinded to the light of the truth of who you really are because there is an identity crisis out there you still don't really know who you are in Christ but we're praying that you will so please Get on board for the pastors who are listening out there, for the viewers who are watching. Pray, call the numbers, email, do whatever you have to. But we're going to have more people coming down the road. Amen. Thank you. Bridging the gap between races, cultures, and denominations. You're watching Reconciling Raleigh with Pastor Olden Thornton. For more information on Pastor Thornton or other Reconciling Raleigh broadcasts, visit richurch.org.